do question 6b part 4 and this is probably the, the hardest part of the question because now we have to find the range of values for Q such that a two team two person team is more likely to score points than a four member team okay so how do we begin this well we're going to use our part 2 and our part 3 to help us out here because if you notice here we've got the probability for the four person team to score points and we've also got the probability for the two person team to score points so if we compare these we can find values for which this probability will be greater than that probability. So what I'm talking about is that if I want the probability of a two-person team to be greater than the probability of a four-person team, then we'll just consider this. Okay. So as we know, we've just learned that the left-hand side is equivalent to 1 minus q squared and that the right-hand side is equivalent to 1 minus 4q cubed plus 3q to the power of 4. Alright, so now I'm going to bring everything over to one side. So as you can see, the 1s and the 1s cancel. So we'll be left with 4q cubed minus 3q to the power of 4 uh, minus q squared. And that all should be greater than 0. Alright, so now as you notice, there's q squared. That is a common factor of these. So we'll take out the q squared and I'll bring everything into the bracket, so we've got 4q minus 3q squared minus 1 is greater than 0. Alright, so for convenience I'm going to make it such that the q squared term now is a positive, so I'm going to multiply everything by minus 1. And as you know, as I do that, the inequality sign has to switch. So now everything has to be less than 0. All right, so now this is just a uh, factorization of a quadratic or tri quadratic trinomial. So the way I do it, I observe the product of these two. So that's 3 and then minus 4. So the su two numbers that sum up to minus 4 and they have a product of 3 is minus 1 and minus 3. Okay, so for that reason, I'm going to split the middle term into those two numbers. And now I can pairwise factorize so that um, it just, yeah, so it does that. So see Q, and then if I take out the minus 1 here, it becomes Q minus 1. And that's going to be greater than 0. And now I'll just bring that up here because we're not too close, too far from the finish line. So then if I now factorize the Q minus 1s, I'll end up getting Q minus 1 and then we're left with 3q minus 1. And that is less than 0. Alright, so how do we solve that inequality? Well, if we're left with this, quar this quartic equation, and it's also a quartic inequality, we need to find the values for which this is true. So how I like to do these, for anything that's greater than a degree 2 polynomial, I like to consider drawing the graph of this like on a number line because now we know the intercepts because it's nice and factorized so we've got two zeros a one and a one over three so we know that there's a zero at zero and it's also a double root we've got a zero at one and we have a zero at one third and so what does this look like well if you observe the the highest degree term of it's q to the power of three q to the power of four and that's a positive, so it's a positive W shape. So that's going to look like what I believe is this. So it's going to loop up like that and go up like so. So that's what the equation looks like. Now all we have to care about is where it is less than 0. Okay, so if you realize here, uh, it is not less than 0 anywhere here because it merely touches. It is a tangent to the x-axis at 0. But it is less than 0 between 1 third and 1. So how we write that now is we draw the open circles and we draw that region for which that is true. And that's pretty much how the problem is solved now because now we just have to state that Q has to be between 1 and 1 third for a two-person team to be more likely to win points than a four-person team. And that's how you do it.